This week, five of Mihan Markle's closest friends spoke to People magazine about their concerns about the level of online bullying faced by the Duchess and the effects this could have on her pregnancy. They also spoke out about some of the damage done by her father and half-sister. Meghan's father Thomas Markle and half-sister Samantha Markle haven't held back when it comes to talking publicly about the Duchess of Sussex. The last time we heard from Thomas it was in an interview with Good Morning Britain where he said he had been shunned and ghosted by Meehan and tried to text her every day but never heard back. This was after an interview he gave The Sun in 2018 when he called the royal family a cult. And also followed another to the Daily Mail where he called Meehan cold and said that everything that Meehan is. I made her despite pulling out of walking her down the aisle a week before her wedding citing health concerns. Then there's Samantha who changed her last name from Grant back to Markle after Meehan and Harry got engaged. Read more See how Meehan Markle's bump has grown over the months in pictures she has dubbed her half-sister Thomas is Samantha's father too Princess Pushy and is due to publish through tell-all books on the Duchess called In the Shadows of the Duchess. She told the Daily Star she will hold nothing back in the books which are timed to come out around the same time Meehan gives birth in April or May. Throughout all of this, Meehan H.A.S.N.T. made any public statements about her family. Now, her friends have taken it upon themselves to be the voice of the Duchess. Read more about what Meehan's friends had to say about her speaking to people. The friends, who asked to remain anonymous to protect Meghan's privacy, said Thomas knows how to get in touch with her. Her telephone number H.A.S.N.T. changed, has never called, has never texted. I think she will always feel genuinely devastated by what has done. It's super painful because Meg was always so dutiful. And at the same time, because she's a daughter, she has a lot of sympathy for him. Just before Meehan and Harry's wedding, it emerged Thomas had posed for a series of staged paparazzi photos aimed at improving his image. Shortly after the news broke, Thomas pulled out of the wedding, citing heart problems. One friend said that after the pictures emerged Meg and Harry were still so focused on getting him to London at no point was there talk of now that we know he lied. He's in trouble. The next morning when the car got there to take him to the airport, he wouldn't get in. Then Meg heard he had a heart attack and she's calling and texting, even up to the night before the wedding. I love you, and I'm scared. It was endless. After the wedding, she wrote him a letter. It was like, please pick up. I have one father, I love you, she's like, dad, I'm so heartbroken. Please stop victimizing me through the media so we can repair our relationship. Because every time her team has to come to her and fact check something he said, it's an arrow to the heart. Read more timeline of Thomas Markle's blunders, he writes her a really long letter in return, and he closes it by requesting a photo op with her, and she feels like... I'm telling you I don't want to communicate through the media and you're asking me to communicate through the media that's the opposite of what I'm saying. Did you hear anything I said? It's almost like the ship's passing of the relationship with Samantha. A friend said they've been made to appear as siblings who were very close and then they had this falling out. And that's not the truth at all. Fast way forward to me hand dating Harry and now Samantha is going by the last name Markle and then she began this career capitalizing on Meg. Everyone who knows Meg knows that the two of them have no relationship.